loving, growing in God's will, and an inherent entrepreneur. It's a nice, earthy, elegant feel. Um, what I will say, um, sometimes I feel like we are really, really far from a lot of things that's happening in the city. Like really, really far, and a lot of people don't know what's happening up in the upper northwest side. I feel like we don't get a lot of media coverage up there. Like I see a lot of Sherman Park area, Brady, downtown. I see those things, but like when was the last time you turned on the news and thank you fire truck and paramedics. <laughs> but when was the last time you turned on the news and actually seen like something happening upper northwest side of Milwaukee? I, I know I can't recall. I, I guess it starts within um, the level of peace that you have. Um, and then it starts with your, your view of people. Do you love people? Are you kind to people? What's your moral character? I would say there, like, look inward. Do you love yourself? Okay, if you love yourself, do you love your neighbor? Are you able to do that? If so, um, then I think if we have that mindset, that kind of projects um, love out there and if love is projected out and love is the environment and love is the energy then I, I can't help but think why wouldn't it be safe why wouldn't we naturally create environments of safety wherever we go if we're carrying carrying love within ourselves and in our mind just celebrate our two-year anniversary of being in business as well as our staple event which is Sunday Grub at the Gallery. Uh, we've been partnering with local caterers and bakers and now they're what I like to call our Grub family. We are not just business partners. I feel like when you are working alongside somebody that close, that long, that consistent, it becomes a family. You have access to that every Sunday from 12 to 3, and then we partner with Christopher's Project, so now he has that nice melodic live saxophone tune. The environment is always clean. Um, we function off of love, so you're going to feel love. As soon as you come into that place, you're going to feel community, and I love, what I love most is seeing people like run into old colleagues and friends and next thing you know, like they're hugging, taking pictures, like, and it's the most like beautiful <laughs> experience that I just feel continuously honored and humbled to be able to offer. Fridays right now, we have Seafood Friday. So if you're a seafood lover, know a seafood lover, gotta have that seafood, we do offer that as well. And that's nighttime, so from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And we have DJ Angelo, so it's the little upper beat, you know, a little more tunes come in. Um, and but we do have a date night at Dior's or dining at Dior's coming. So instead of it being a public food event, it's gonna be a private, by ticket, fine dining experience. Um, so that will happen on Saturday nights. And um, we also have coming, we're partnering with uh, one of the local or Northwest side workforce organizations to offer entrepreneurship training. So um, we look forward to share our insight, um, our experience, and help others kind of make their, their segue into the word entrepreneurship. Two things came to mind <laughs> immediately, obviously, um, small businesses, um, minority businesses, if we want to go even deeper, <laughs> businesses ran by black women, black men, um, and then youth development. Something along the lines where they have a sense of purpose. Um, I feel like that's what's void. Kind of, well, that's kind of what the youth is missing. Not only is love, but that sense of purpose. Why am I here? Where should I be employing myself? What are the skills that I don't even know I have? If I do discover these skills, okay, how can I use them? Okay, am I getting paid if I use these skills? Okay, I am getting paid. You know, So I feel like um, I would love to put the money there in those two places. My dad's side is, has been heavily um, delved into NPS, like from principals 
to um, basketball coaches to teachers for like 20 to 25 years, all of them. So like I hear a lot of conversations around what they've seen, like honestly a decline in just the, the character, you know, and, and they don't blame the kids. Like it's a lot of things that they feel go into that, um, that they need, that starts at home. But if they can't get it from home, where else can they see? Examples might not always start in home for you. You know, we're in a whole nother world. Like, if I could pop on this phone, if, if any of y'all tune into Dior's Gallery Lives for Sunday Growth, first thing I start with is blessing. I bless people's days, their lives, their homes, their families, like, because they may not have that example. They may never come across somebody that day or that week who is saying, I bless you, prosperity to you, wellness to you, you know, so. We had no knowledge of like what type of funding was available to us. Um, and we tried going to the banks. We tried banks and credit unions and denied, denied, you know, for loans. And there weren't a lot of grants out there. Um, so we used a lot of like personal savings to fund. And granted, thank God we had that, but that's not everybody's experience. So like what you are doing, offering, advocating for is so needed. The African American Roundtable develops black leaders to transform our lives. They need your support to continue organizing and programming that builds power and communities. Will you donate $60 today to keep arts movement going? That's only $5 a month. Click the link in the description to donate now.